Welcome to lesson 7.1. We're going to be talking about interior and exterior angles. And for the most part, it's exactly what it sounds like. You're going to be dealing with, or we're going to be talking about the angles on the interior of a triangle. So uh, this angle plus this angle plus this angle. And you should already know by now. Uh, and if you don't, this is your opportunity to hear about it again. That the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Uh, and then we're also going to be talking about exterior angles, what exterior angles are. And specifically, we're only going to be really dealing with exterior angles of a triangle. All right, but we'll get to that in a second. But uh, back to interior angles. The interior angles of a triangle add up to 180. But what about um, shapes that have more than three sides? So that's what we're going to be talking about here. So um, if you go through this explore section, the first thing you talk about, again, is, is this thing we just mentioned. But... Here are the other, or a couple other, um, shapes that have more than three sides. So, for example, a triangle has three sides. And, um, you know what, actually, this is not really talking about uh, sides. I should kind of fix this. How many triangles do you see? You see one triangle here. You can take a quadrilateral, and then you can cut that into two triangles. You can take a pentagon and cut that into three triangles, four, five, six triangles, and you get the point. Um, and obviously you can cut it into more triangles, right? If you if you took this quadrilateral and, and you know, maybe drew another line here, um, you could uh, cut it into more triangles if you wanted to, but I think um, we're talking about, you know, originating from one point. Anyway, uh, they're just trying to make a point. Um, and the point is, triangle has three sides. Um, you can only see one triangle in there. And, and so if you um, take that one triangle, multiply it by 180, you get 180 degrees. And for a quadrilateral that has four sides, and you cut that into two triangle, well, two times 180 is 360. A pentagon has five sides. You can see that a, a pentagon over here is cut into three triangles. So that's going to be three times 180, which is... 540. Hexagon has six sides. The number of triangles in a hexagon you can see right there is four. So four times uh, 180 is going to be 720. Uh, seven sides is going to be five. So five times 180 is going to be 900. Uh, octagon has eight sides. Uh, cut that in six triangles. So six times 180 is going to be 1080 degrees. Now what you should notice when doing this is that each of these right from one to the next is going up by 180 degrees plus 180 degrees so um, here in explain one that's what they're going to be talking about uh, using the interior angles uh, to figure out what what the uh, unknown angle measures are going to be depending on the number of sides so for example we have a pentagon here that has five sides Right, uh, and so if we look back at our table here, a pentagon has five sides, uh, three triangles, and it adds up to 540 degrees because three times 180 is 540. And so, um, uh, we're going to use this formula here the polygon angle sum theorem, right? So, the number of sides minus two times 180. So, since a pentagon has five sides you're going to put the five here five minus two times 180 that becomes three times 180 which is 540 now that's the formula to find the angles but what if you don't what if there's an angle that you have to find okay so what you're going to do is you're going to set up an equation 2x plus 140 plus 106 plus 85 plus 126 is going to equal 540 and that's exactly what they've done here okay so um, I won't go into it much further than that. Uh, so go ahead and read that explain one section if you'd like. I'm going to jump into the your turn questions here. So if you've paused the video and you've come back, we're about to jump into these your turn questions. Um, your turn question number one for the quadrilateral shown. Uh, find the unknown measure of angle X. Um, first of all, I don't think these are quadrilaterals, but um but anyway cuz uh there's more than four sides but anyway um let's see here we can see that this has 1 2 3 
four, five sides. So this is going to add up to 540 degrees, right? We know we know that much. Let me move this so, so we can make a little bit more space here. So um, what else do we know? Well, we know that this is a right angle, so that's 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. So we, we know at least three of these things, right? So we know 90 plus 90 plus 90. And then we need, we know this, the two X's. So 2X plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 is going to equal 540 degrees. And just so, just to recap, right? Uh, the 2X comes from here. The two X's that we've added together. This first 90 comes from right here. The second 90 comes from right here. The third 90 comes from right here, right? And all that adds up to 540 degrees. And so let's combine like terms. So those 90s we can add. The 2x we can't do anything with, so 2x is right there. Uh, 90 plus 90 plus 90 is going to be 270 equals 500, well, I don't know what I was writing there, 540 degrees. Let's subtract 207, I can't write today, 270 degrees. And when we do that, this goes away, we get 2x equals what is this uh 270 degrees right and then we're going to divide by the coefficient of two we get x equals one 135 degrees right or at least that's what we should have gotten for x for the unknown angle measure so that's our answer okay question number two again not a quadrilateral but um let's find the unknown measure of angle x so this one has one two three four, five, six. So this polygon has six sides. And if we look at our handy dandy chart over here, uh, a hexagon is going to add up to 720 degrees. So we know it's going to add up to 720 degrees. We know that much. And what else do we know? Well, 140, 150, 130, 90, 90. So let's, let's write all that. We know, um, there's going to be a 90 degrees plus a 90 degrees, right? We also know 150. We also know one of the 140s. And then we also know 130. And then we also know that 1x, right? That single x. So again, let's recap this. This x comes from, well, let, me, let me erase some of these right here just so we can uh, get a fresh recap. So x comes from right here. 130 comes from right here. 140 comes from right there. 150 comes from right here. That 90 comes from right here, and that last 90 is going to come from right here. And I think we've gotten all the angles, so let's combine all these like terms here. Oh, goodness gracious. 130 plus 140 plus 150. Um, let's see. It's all going to add up to X plus, and my handy dandy calculator tells me 600. I think it says 600. Uh, 720, and then let's subtract 600 from both sides. And we get x equals 120, because right, that goes away. x equals 120. All right. So those are the first two. Let's see. How much more do we got to do? Let's keep going. Explain three. Okay. Here's what, what I was talking about earlier about exterior angles. And all an exterior angle is, and we're, we're exclusively talking about exterior angles in terms of triangles, is... Uh, let me let me zoom in here. Oh, well, let's look at this one first, right? This diagram here first. Whenever you have a triangle like this one, and you happen to uh, take, let's say this triangle here, one, two, and then you take this side, and you extend it out way over here, right? And I know, I know you can see that um, we have this side here, but look at this. We just extended that line further, right? What an exterior angle is, is this part right here, this angle right here on the exterior that happens when you extend that line, right? So these are the, this is the exterior angle. And then you have what's called two remote interior angles, right? Remote interior angles. Those are the, those are the two angles that are furthest away from the exterior angle. So we're not talking about this angle. We're not talking about that. Um, but this one and this one are the remote interior angles. And, and this one over here is the exterior angle. Now, uh, what do we need to know about exterior angles? Well, the formula is this, right? If you add up angles one and two, the two remote interior angles, it's going to equal 
the exterior angle, right? So here it is in formula uh, form, or as an equation form, sorry. Uh, measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 is going to equal the measure of angle 4. Okay, now if that doesn't make sense to you because that's a little too abstract, sometimes it helps just, just to jump into the problems here. So let's uh, jump into question, or your turn, question number one. You can go ahead and read those other uh, examples there if you want, but we're just going to jump to the problem here. So again, the idea of an exterior angle should be that if you add these two remote interior angles, it's going to equal that exterior angle. And again, exterior angle is on the outside of that triangle. That's why it's the exterior angle. So let's set up the equation, right? So 3x plus 7, which we get from right here, plus the other remote interior angle, which is 63, is going to equal the exterior angle 5x plus 50. All right, so we have some like terms to add. So 7 plus 63 is going to equal 70 x plus 50. So it looks like we have uh, variables on both sides of the equation. So let's take care of that first. I'm going to move the smaller one. Subtract 3x from both sides. That gets rid of that. We get 70. Oh, this should be a plus, by the way. 70 equals 2x plus 50. And then I'm going to get rid of this 50 by subtracting it from both sides. And so from there, um, this is going to be 20 equals 2x. And then I'm going to divide by the coefficient of 2. And when we do that, we get 10 equals x. Now, we're not done yet because we want the measure of angle n. So n is supposed to be 3x plus 7. And we just found out that x equals 10. So 3 times 10 plus 7 is going to be 30 plus 7, which equals 37. So 37 degrees equals angle uh, n. Or let's, let's be a little bit more exact here, capital N. All right, so that's the answer to that first one. All right, um, your turn question number two, find the measure of PRS. So they want this exterior angle, the measure of that exterior angle. So we know that if we add this and this, it's going to equal this. So let's set that up. That little square tells us 90 degrees plus the other remote interior angle is x plus 2. And if we add those together, you should get 3x minus 8. Let's add the like terms on the left-hand side of this equation. So 90 plus 2 is 92 plus x equals 3x minus 8. And again, I'm going to move the, 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 the variable that's smaller since we have variables on both sides. This gets rid of that. We get 92 equals 2x minus 8. I'm going to add 8 to both sides so we can isolate that variable. We get 100 equals 2x. Divide by the coefficient of 2, we get 50 equals x right we're not done yet we got to plug it into here so 3 times 50 minus 8 i don't know why i wrote that second par uh, parentheses but anyway 3 times 50 is 150 minus 8 which equals 142 is uh the measure 142 degrees is the measure of angle r or sorry not r um p R S is what, she, was what they were looking for right there.